professions that break the psyche. They say, tell me who your friend is, and I'll tell you who you are. This saying can be modified with no less truth as follows, tell me what you are doing, and I will tell you what you are. In fact, after a sufficiently long time, five or more years, the profession invariably leaves a corresponding imprint on a person's personality, including a negative one, although, it would seem, in its essence it has nothing inadequate. Here is a small list of such professions. 1. Lawyer As a rule, this profession is chosen by people who are very scrupulous and suspicious, no matter what happens. Over time, these qualities often reach the point of absurdity, which repels normal people, because even in personal relationships, lawyers begin to look for some kind of trick. Finally, the hyper-awareness of legal scholars can easily turn them into sullen nerds. 2. Accountant There is a well-known joke that accountant is a diagnosis. And indeed, some people of this profession are so accustomed to their business image that they even transfer meticulousness and love for numbers into their personal lives. Accountants have a habit of doing everything clearly and correctly, so anything extreme and new causes them fear and is very alarming. Over time, many people of this profession turn into terrible snobs and nerds. To avoid this, accountants need to periodically break away from papers and communicate more with people, because otherwise there is a risk of being the second a cocky bash matchkin. The hero of N. V. Gogol's story The Overcoat, whose world consisted only of letters and commas. 3. Doctor This refers to doctors who in their practice face serious illness, suffering and death. The doctor takes on a very large responsibility for patients. Often, indifference. Cynicism and emotional closeness of doctors are only a forced psychological protection from stress, which now and then arise on the basis of constant observation of suffering. Psychologists recommend that people with such a profession share more internal problems and experiences with loved ones, and also do not forget about the empathy that relatives are waiting for. Official troubles and worries should be left at work, and outside it try to avoid additional stress in every possible way. 4. Serviceman As you know, military personnel are people of the strictest discipline. Alas, they often build even their relatives and friends, turning into a domestic dictator, or even a tyrant. Psychologists say that the military over time acquires a type of professional deformation of the personality, which is almost impossible to correct. An officer is a way of life. 5. Journalist People who choose the profession of a journalist are usually very modest and prefer to remain in the shadows, he is in charge of this event, and I only do interviews. They're also curious. Of course, journalistic practice develops all these qualities, the result of which is not always good. A person can fall into egocentrism and outright tactlessness, he may form a pathological attitude that he is not living his life. 6. Teacher People of this profession are often arrogant. As a rule, they have an inflated self-esteem regardless of the degree of professionalism. It is easy to be significant against the background of a child, a person who is still far from disclosure, and sometimes the teacher's self-esteem results in authoritarianism, if not in relation to school wards, then in relation to the household. Teachers especially need the ability to put themselves in the other person's shoes, as well as the cultivation of modesty and tolerance. 7. Psychologist It's no secret that many people who decide to become a psychologist, first of all, want to understand themselves, and not the problems of future patients. 
In fact, due to the constant sight of other people's deviations from their own cockroaches, such people may not get rid of. Moreover, personal problems are often exacerbated. And thanks to the knowledge of human nature, psychologists easily become manipulators, shamelessly using others for their own selfish purposes. Psychologists should clearly separate their professional and personal lives, and also learn not to perceive people only as material for the next study. 8. Sales Manager Selling goods, especially illiquid ones, is a whole art, in one way or another forcing a person to be disingenuous, cunning, and sometimes simply deceiving. Experienced salespeople are people, as a rule, quite smart. Another drawback of workers in this profession is excessive chattiness and excessive artistry, which can become the causes of unnaturalness in everyday life. Such people are advised to often abstract from thoughts about work. And how does your profession affect the psyche? Stay tuned for more updates.